Too much fat, too much sugar, too much information. Everybody is telling us about what we should be eating, but what is the real story about healthy nutrition? Hi, I'm Hannah Burgess, and I've come to the Liggins Institute to get the inside story about food and how it affects our health. From someone who ought to know, nutrition professor David Cameron Smith. We're told that being overweight is bad for our health and that obesity is linked to some serious diseases. Well, why is this? Obesity is a really serious condition. And although you may not experience symptoms now, you are at much greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. These are diseases that significantly impair your life. That's called morbidity. But they also lead to an increased risk of early death, and that's called mortality. And how obesity leads to that is a very, very interesting question. There's no doubt that overnutrition and under-exercise and particular types of food, no doubt saturated fat, accelerate that risk. And it accelerates that risk very subtly, year in, year out, such that you find yourself in a situation where you are very unwell. Why is this? Well, when we look at nutrition, undoubtedly bad nutrition is going to increase the risk of these diseases. So nutritional science is starting to understand the different components of food that drive the risk of disease. And that's increasing the expression of genes that are detrimental and are involved in the development of the disease. But on the other hand, there's so many good things about nutrition. There's no doubt that good fats, good proteins and complex carbohydrates and all of the wonderful vitamins and minerals that you get in good food reduces the risk by turning off some of those genes, by modifying your metabolism to improve your health. Well, what about exercise? Oh, glad you mentioned exercise because exercise is one of the most important components of lifestyle. Your lifestyle is your nutrition as well as your physical activity. So physical activity is the engine that drives your ability or uses the fuel. So with exercise, you're turning the motor over, you're using that energy and that helps regulate your metabolism positively. Does that mean it's too late for people who already have these diseases? It's never too late to do something positive about your health. And that's the wonderful thing about nutrition and physical activity. Anything, any change that you can do is better than no change. But having said that, the most important thing is to prevent the development of these diseases. So starting early, taking an active interest in physical activity and good quality nutrition will have a lifelong benefit. Mmm, that's certainly food for thought. So it's no more chips for me. My flatmates will be eating loads more salads from now on. 